To mark the opening in July 2015 of Rakuten Institute of Technology Singapore, Rakuten held a Rakuten Viki Global TB Recommender Challenge. The five-week development competition was held following a kickoff event on July 29th. There are three reasons for holding this latest challenge. The first was to enhance recognition in Asia of Rakuten Institute of Technology Singapore through collaboration with local research institutes. The second was to discover and recruit excellent new talent. The third was to develop new Viki data recommendation functions. And I'm really excited, looking forward to seeing what you, you guys come up with. Um, I hope this is just the beginning of our journey together and there will be a lot of more opportunities uh, working together. The topic of the challenge this time was to construct a personal recommendation system for users of Viki, a global video streaming service. So we have more content. We have a lot of users globally distributed with different viewing habits, like different language preferences, different experiences. You can say, see that this is more like a combinatorial problem, right? So this is becoming more of a, more of a challenge on how we can provide the best content available whenever you want it. And that's how the data challenge or the recommender come into the picture. During the event, lectures on recommendation systems were given by Carl Hargreaves, the head of business analytics at the National University of Singapore, a university famous around the globe for computer science research. A wide variety of companies such as Walmart, Unilever, and Netflix hold this kind of data challenge because of the significant advantages they provide in terms of recruiting new talent and utilizing crowdsourcing. Participants in the Recommender Challenge developed algorithms to predict the behavior of Viki users and recommended videos based on four months' worth of user data. The participants were given a five-week time limit. On September 16th, Final presentations were made by the six finalist groups followed by a prize-giving ceremony. 132 participants registered for the challenge and 30 teams submitted a total of 567 algorithms. There were participants from a wide range of backgrounds including startup companies, world-famous corporations, university and government research institutes and so on. So, uh, with that I would like to say um, Team Malign from ASTAR really have the right uh, expertise and we are ready to work with Vicky. The winning group was Team Merlion. The team featured seven highly capable researchers from Singapore's Agency for Science, Technology and Research. The team created a system capable of making precise judgments based on the three steps of categorization, filtering and ranking. We are really impressed at the variety of recommendations I mean uh, many submitted the algorithm so, and uh, we are also inspired by the uh, insight of the submitted algorithm. I hope that Singapore can continue to be that location and platform that enables Rakuten to succeed in a world driven by digital innovation. As a result of the competition, Rakuten was able to discover highly competent new recruits and the number of applicants to Rakuten Institute of Technology Singapore increased threefold. As Viki is able to share for six months possession of technologies developed by Rakuten during the event, they will most likely be able to increase the pace of their new system development activities.